Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're playing some more Pioneer and we're playing this Rug or Teamer mid range deck. The general focus of this deck, it's much like the standard deck uh, that we recorded a video with earlier in the year. The idea is we're trying to get uh, Oko into play quickly, following it up with some Questing Beasts or Wicked Wolf or Chandra or Glory Bringers, things like that. Really powerful cards. We also have some Summer Denials. As counter spells to back up with our four power creatures, such as Questing Beast, Bone Crusher Giant, Heart of Curans, Glory Bringers, and Wicked Wolf can become a four power toughness or four power creature pretty easily. Um, 22 lands. We have three Elvish Mystics, two Lion Noir Elves, four Gilded Goose. We have an extra Stubborn Denial on the sideboard, two Aether Gusts, three Disdainful Strokes, and two Mystic Disputes. Uh, we have two of Braids. Followed up with an Unravel the Aether and two Reclamation Sage as our Artifact Hate. Um, then we have a fourth Wicked Wolf and an additional Scavenging Ooze. Um, decklist is not mine. It's a decklist I found on MCG Goldfish. I was just browsing through the Pioneer decks and I saw this one. This one stuck out to me. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it goes well. Back in just a minute. Alrighty, so here we are on the draw, it looks like. So we got two lands, a line of our elves, once upon a time, and some powerful follow-ups. So we're going to keep it. We need another land, but we have once upon a time. Basic island. Eh, stubborn, miles. stubborn denial is not bad. Um... I'm just going to take the extra land here, to be honest. I could take a Bone Crusher Giant, but if they're, if they're not like Mono Blue Devotion, then that's pretty bad. Well, I guess that's not bad, necessarily. Well, I guess let's do this. Just cast Bone Crusher Giant. Their blue eye control, they could have a sensor. Ooh, no, it resolves. Okay. Charm to draw a card. Sounds good. Hmm. Search for Ascanta. Alright, well. So, I have my doubts here about them having a counter spell for our Chandra. They have a spell pierce. They got us. They did not. Um, let's go ahead and make two mana, two mana, and play the Heart of Kieran. Now let's attack for four. This way with Heart of Kieran, even if they take down our Bone Crusher Giant and our Line Orels, we still have a threat to keep pressuring them with. It's very possible they could have Supreme Verdict here. That is what they in fact have. Alright, land off top one time. Well, that's a little unfortunate. But that's okay. Oko, let's go ahead and make some food, shoot them for two here, obviously we can't cast it, crew, remove loyalty from Oko, attack for four, alright, down to eight, it's all you opponent, so something we have to keep in mind here is Teferi can't bounce our Heart of Kirin. Um, okay, they're done. Alright, so blue light control. Um, our counter spells are all considerations. Give me one second. Sorry about that. So, our counter spells are all considerations. Hmm. So, against 
control decks, I usually like to trim some of our less exciting draws. And because we don't know if they do actually have, so this would leave out stub, but bring the rest in. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like this. I don't know how much more we. I don't know what we want more: the mystic, this mute, disable stroke, or a stub. Notably, Rex Sage could be good, but I think Bone Crusher is a little bit better. Hmm. I think Questing Beast is very good, being able to kill their Planeswalkers as well as deal them damage. Yeah, alright, let's see what we can do. The good thing there was we were able to apply pressure the entire time. Which is very important. We have to apply pressure quickly and close out the game quickly. Ugh. I mean... This is not exactly an apply pressure quickly hand. Myth realized. Nerdy cast not creature spell for a lower counter. Okay. I am surprised. But okay. Second myth realized. Sure. Wow. Holy crap. Art of Kieran. Yep. Um, next turn. Probably going to be Bone Crusher. Attack for four. Actually... It's not going to be Bone Crusher attack for four, I don't think. I'm going to play the Lion or Elves out. Opting. Hoping they're going to activate one of these. Hmm. Maybe that's silly. Right, they're cycling that. Yeah, it's, it's possible this is just wrong. Maybe we're supposed to just play this out anyway. Stomp you. This also is worse if they have a counter spell. Which they do. Which like I said, it's worse if they have a counter spell. Okay. That's awkward. Yep, that is incredibly awkward. Yep. Binary Wolves, in fact, is not a bird of a paradise. Can't activate these, right? It's going to pass. No surprises are the best kind of surprises. Yep, three mana now. I'm guessing this is where we see the Teferi come down and bounce the heart of Kirin. It's not surprising. So this means we need to bring in our Unravel the Aethers and that stuff. Bouncing line orb. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, no, that's plus steel damage. Lower your loyalty. Attack and kill to fairy. Hmm. 
All right, we'll pass the turn here. Third myth realized, which is quite annoying. Mm hmm. Walk. Yeah, I'll throw the goose away. All right, let's draw for turn. All right, let's go double red mana. Go I bringer. Elf. Goose. Crew. Hacha. Pass the turn. Hmm. These things are gonna definitely get annoying really quickly. All right, well, that's not gonna be something we're gonna be able to beat very easily. Who are they bouncing? Heart of Kieran, I'm assuming. Shocker, shocker. All right, draw for turn. Stomping grounds, eh? Top card is. Top card is some damage, is what it is. Heart. Yep. There is that. No targets. Make my attacks there. All right, down to four. Which means you got to deal with all three of these. All right, we got there. So, that was a weird one. Um, didn't expect Myth Realized. That was uh, where I played Standard at that time. There was a player that played a Just Guy Sentency tokens deck that played Myth Realized, and it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah. All right, anyway, we'll be back in just a minute for round number two. All right, I mean, we got turn three Oko. Like, just got to keep that, right? It's like why you play a deck like this, so you can go turn three Oko. I think our opponent's got the same thought here. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's the mirror match. No, Traverse. Okay. Means it's four-color Delirium. Um, one, two, three, four. I'll take Rootbound Crag, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's right or not, but it's what we take in. Fable Passage, cool. Another land. Oh, oh, whoop. Oko. Make food. Pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Another black source. They play a last hope here. We're going to be really glad we didn't uh, get able to take the Lion War Elf. Chris Ryder. That is so much more annoying. All right, let's. Hmm. 
Yeah. Let's go here. It's going to be a real fight their delirium. That's obviously not why we're playing scavenging ooze, but it's nice having a thing we're able to do. All right, they're casting that. Take a sorcery. Draw off turn. Oko. All right. Red. Dragon. Yep. Exert. Yep. It goes to the bottom. You still take six. Down to twelve. Next turn, we can go Oko and Bone Crusher Giant. Although, you know, alternatively, if we would have waited a turn to exert, we could have technically ate the thing in response to the trigger. Alright, well, you get a week in my scavenging news, but. Tis not very scary. Oko. That was so not the button I meant to press. Stomp it. Yeah, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to... Ah, it's so annoying. I keep screwing that up on here. I meant to 3-3 three, three one of these and attack her and then finish her off with Stomp. Okay. So. Against what we're looking at, Wicked Wolf seems a little possible. Um, maybe Stub. Maybe Dispute if we just want counter spells. Maybe Disdainful Strokes. Possibly Scavenging Ooze. So these are my definites. These are my maybes, and these are possible. So I definitely want the Wicked Wolf. I'm assuming they're going to be a creature-based deck, which means this is usually going to be good against them. Um, with them having Liliana's, our one, one elves are not great. So that cuts us down to seven of them, which I think is an okay number. Um, bring in an A Disdainful Stroke. Again, don't really know. I mean, they have... Their, their Delirium is obviously at some point going to give them bigger creatures, I would assume. So I, I think Disdainful Stroke there is necessary. Disdainful Stroke is good against Kalidus. Um, hmm... We get trimmed like a once upon a time. No, I think this is fine. Questing Beast here is actually really good. Because they have they're playing Liliana, which means they're probably playing other stuff that we care about too. Um it's able to attack through a lot of their boy. This hand's very contingent on this finding us a goose. And we just cut ourselves down to seven one drops. But we do have two Okos, which is pretty powerful. I'm going to keep it, hoping that Once Upon a Time gets us there. And it just dawned on me, I should have uh, not f 6 because they can Thought Seize us. Well, we found a Goose. Which was perfect. Because now we got Goose into Oko. Even through discard. Player nice.
Elk it. Mm hmm. We could have made food, I just didn't want to get its trigger. Second Grim Flare. Now that's one I like. Yep, attack Oko. Mm -hmm. Down to two. Make food. Mm -hmm. Eat up the Grim Flare. And now we're sitting back with another Wicked Wolf to trade off with the 3-3 three, three Elk. And next turn we get to start playing our bigger creatures really. Like next turn we can actually just plus this, play Wicked Wolf, and eat the Elk. So maybe we just do that depending on what they do. Yeah, but it is attacking. I think we're just going to take it and play the Wicked Wolf and eat the Lair. Eh, yeah, I think we're just going to let it happen. Tracker sounds good. Alright, so I think I actually want to kill Tracker. So... With that being said, then it looks like we go... Make food. Eat for red. Cast you. Exert. Kill tracker. Yep. I'll leave you there. And honestly, next turn. It's tough to say. We could just like. Could just let the elk kill Oko. Hmm. I don't like that that much though. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I think I'd rather keep this Oko alive and have this second Wicked Wolf back to kill another threat we need to kill. Hmm. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's tough to say. Vraska's Contempt. Sure. Perfect. So they're going to take down our Oko. Spending a lot of cards to get rid of our Oko, which is good for us. That is what I like to see. Make food. And pass the turn. We also have a hard counter for a Planeswalker or a Futures Braskis Contempt. You may hit him for three. I will allow it. Alright, let's see what our opponent's got here. They have four mana. So there's definitely a lot that they can do. One's deep in the tank here. They have four cards in hand. They have a clue to draw, fifth card. Yeah, keeping these flares off the table has been huge this game. I'd like for them to go land and try to play Liliana and we can stub her. 
I'm just gonna let that happen. Alright, see most of what they were gonna be able to get we weren't gonna be too worried about. Draw for turn, another tapped land. I'm gonna make this a 3-3. Go ahead and attack you for seven. We're just gonna pass. Mm-hmm. Right now we can chump block with the goose, play another, make another food, still protect our Oko. There are a lot of options still. Opponents taking their time here, making a decision. Oh, looks like they finally go over something. Mmm, questing beast. All right, that was one that was not in my consideration. I will admit. Yeah. Down goes Oko. Sure. Wolf. Target. Make it indestructible. Attack there. Yep, they're going to trade with the food. They can trade with the food. We are presenting lethal on the table right now as it is. All right, we got there. We'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right, here we are on the play for round number three. Oof, this hand's a little awkward. If our elves die, this is bad. If our elves survive, it could be okay. I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna keep this one. This one doesn't seem amazing, but it seems fine. I like to draw like a Heart of Kirin, an Oko, Gilded Goose, Ruh -ruh. See? Very glad that we didn't just keep it. Hmm. Not happy with the opponent. I'm really not happy with you. You hate fun. Chess guy control. What? All right, so we're getting to that point where we're gonna need to draw some lands very quickly. Alright. Yep, opt. Yeah, we're going to need to draw land very soon, because... Yeah. Although now knowing they're just guy... It does make me wish I would not have kept this Wicked Wolf, to be honest. Alright, Teferi's going to bounce my food. We're then going to draw a land and look like professionals. Yep. Make a food token and we're going to pass. Like I said, we're going to draw a land and look like professionals. Never didn't have it.
Yep. Yep. So seven U. Um, no, let's just pass the turn. Five mana. The fairy. Sure. Sure. It's a lot of cards to deal with uh, two permanents. It's actually just two cards, I guess. So not really that many. Do you have the spell pierce? Sure. Uh, no. I will have to make a food token and pass the turn. Alright. Obviously, bouncing the food here would kind of suck, but, you know, that's life. Also, Big Teferi here would be kind of awkward for us. No plays, huh? I'm going to 3-3 this. Plus, nah, put him to five. Oh, okay, let's concede. All right, we uh we didn't actually have to make the decision. Okay, so sustainable strokes, uh, stubs and gut are uh, actually yeah all these cards. Because they are, in fact, Jeskai. So, in order of cards I want in, those five, and then these three. So, again, I want to trim all my dorks because they're playing Ang Magmus Rays, they're playing Angers. Um, cut the Scavenging Ooze. Um, I think I'm going to cut a Bone Crusher Giant too. Wicked Wolf doesn't seem great. Let's cut two Wicked Wolves. Bring in these. Yeah, because even if we don't know like what kind of threats they're going to bring in, we still have a lot of other removal. Let's roll it. And we didn't see any like Brazen Brawlers or any threats. Game one. So, uh, looks like we're gonna mulligan, but I'll be right back. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. We're gonna mulligan. I mean, I think his hand's okay, but it's not. It's, it's like really slow. I'm just gonna keep it. We'll see how it goes. I in no way think this is a good hand or that this is right to keep this hand. That, in my opinion, does make it better, though. Hmm. Next turn, once upon a time, into a Bone Crusher Giant so we could stomp them would be nice. Or I suppose Heart of Kirin would be nice as well.
We do have to keep in mind they are playing sensor. We did see them cycle one earlier. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to not play my threads just because of sensor. Not when we have a really strong curve coming. A braid? Ooh. All right, well, that's rough. But, you know. I mean, they brought in a cyborg card for, like, our one artifact in our deck, so... Yeah, they got us. It's fairy. Just plusing, I'm assuming. Sounds good. All right, they can bounce the food, um, but I'm not just gonna leave them. I'm not just gonna not use the Oko. Like, yeah, it sucks getting the food bounced, but he's much more susceptible at four than he is at six. So, we, and we don't have a target for his plus one, so. Okay, so we're gonna get to kill a Planeswalker here. Magma Spray is the pickup. Tapped land. All right, I like it. Four unknown. All right, draw for turn. Glory Bringer. I'm digging it. And we're gonna attack them. And we are actually gonna kill Narset. Because Narset's going to draw them another card if we don't. And yes, no wrong, Teferi is a threat. Because of the fact that he can interfere with a lot of the cards that we do play. At the end of the day, Narset's going to get them a card that we're probably going to care about a lot more. Hold on one second, guys. Alright, big Teferi. So this is actually fine for us here. If they... Ooh, they're going to attack the Questing Beast. Okay. Take down the two Planeswalkers. And, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy about the spot we're in right now. I'd be happy if we had an untapped mana and a, and a, a counter spell, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, admittedly, they knew they were going to lose one planeswalker next turn because of Oko, but still. They can't Supreme Verdict. All right. That's fine. They get to do that and get rid of our questing beast, but they don't. Interesting. Dragon. Counterspell. Okay. Counterspell for my dragon. All right, make a food. Attack for three. All right, we know they have Magma Spray and one unknown. And they surveilled Hollow Fountain of the Grave, so they don't know what they're drawing. I mean, they know we don't have a counter spell, because if we had a counter spell, we would have countered that, the Sinister Sabotage. Also, another important thing that's to note about the Magma Sprays is cutting down on our Mana Dorks makes this card much worse in general. It can still two for it can still like uh, two for one themselves to deal with stuff, but it's not nearly as good as just straight up. It's like a braid is against us, like because a braid does kill our creature. So if they're cutting a bunch of magma sprays for a braids. Sure. This does get rid of our questing beast. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Which sucks. 
Sure, granted. What are you getting? Approach of the second sun. Feels like approach of the second sun. We've had nuts draws this turn, to be honest, or this game. Awakened Inferno. I like it. Alright. Well. Sometimes you just draw a haste creature. And get to end it. Alright. Let's keep rolling. Alright, we're on the play here for round number... I think it's four. I think it's four. Um, we're gonna keep it. Uh, this once upon a time can very is very likely to find us a uh, red source. And if not, we're just uh, we're naturally great, so we'll just draw an Oko, right? <laughs> I hope. I would love that. Although I mean, this hand's quite good. I mean, if we get the red source, we have access to Bone Crusher Giant. There's our Oka we wanted. Goose. Getting that goosin'. Geesin'. Hmm. Okie dokie. I'm actually going to shock this in, and if they do nothing, I'll make food. If they play something we can kill, though, we're going to Bone Crusher it. I'm expecting them to be green, black, or Abzan Delirium. I hope they're not the green, black lands deck. Hmm. 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 It could be green, black lands, that's for sure. Thought sees me. Sure. I have an incredibly generic hand. And for some reason, they go land Thoughtseize again, I will Bone Crusher them. Unless they take Bone Crusher with the first Thoughtseize, which. I guess. That'd be weird, but I guess. Hmm. So, Abzan. I'm gonna stomp them. Unless they kill our goose, we gotta attack him for eight next turn. It's a pretty good attack. All right, it's a very good attack now. Red mana. All right. The nice thing here is if they have answers, we still have one spawn of time plus um, goose and stuff to try and find more threats. Also, have a very powerful selection of cards in our deck. Kind of sucks they didn't give us something we could glory bringer, but I think it's probably actually better they didn't. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. So we got one creature in the grave. Murderous Rider. It is 
quite unfortunate. Go to two. Once upon a time. Damn. That sucks. All right, well, that, uh, that's definitely what we call a big momentum swing. If we would have found another Bone Crush Giant there, though, we would have won. So, you know, should look at look at the bright side of things. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. You're casting the Murderous Rider. Sounds good. You then can eat two creatures next turn. You could attack for two. I'm going to say I'm not going to block it, but... Yep. Go to three... Oh, I f ah. Damn it. Alright, well. Uh, let's attack. Make it a 4 4 and trade. I think if they do that, we're okay with that. And by okay with that, obviously, I mean. Not much we can do. I think we're losing this game if we just sit back and don't attack, so. I think I think we have to apply pressure. Yep, attack for two. Fuck. Well, we're finally about to lose our first game here. If you're wondering why I say that, it's because we're so far behind at this point that I don't see... I, mean, I guess technically we have glory bringers and stuff like that that can bring us back in the game, but... No, they got a creature block there. I'll stomp him. Yep. All right, here we go. It is all you, opponent. Let's see what you got. All right. Between these two, that's not that risky of a play to go to three. Hmm. Yep. That is really annoying, but... Yeah, I mean, that's it there. Like I said, they're in a position right now where I don't know how we come back from this. Yeah, I mean, we take six here, go to ten, they go to four. We have one card in hand, though. Oh, I'm sorry. We take uh, seven, and they go to five. Uh... Make food. All right, so they go to six. Yep. And we take eight. Kill me with fire. Yep. And draw a card. Not even entirely sure how we're getting out of this. First of all, we just don't have a way to beat in this card. 
which is like and we're gaining them more life and drawing them a card. I don't know if it's right to block yet. Yep. Yeah. Way late to the show. Okay, they didn't even try to contest that. Nice. Push. Yep, minus. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep, draw a card. Down to six. Yeah, like I said, I don't see how we come back from this. Really not, really not seeing it. Um, definitely not with that draw. All right. Finally lose our first game. About time we came off our cliff mountain thing. Uh, anyway, let's go looking at the braids. Um, Wicked Wolf looks good. Stable Stroke, maybe. But I'm definitely looking at Mystic Disputes. Um, just as a counter spell, they're not bad. And the Stubborn Nile is possibly not that bad. So first things first. Um, again, last hope. So I want to cut some of these dorks. I think they're just generally bad against uh, Lone Eye Last Hope. As far as bringing in the Wicked Wolf, um, I don't really know what I'd cut for it. Maybe let's sideline these. And we don't bring it in. Maybe just try the braids as a little more removal. Hmm. Got a lot of removal though. I would like to try and fit these mystic disputes, but I think the only way I could fit them is like cut one of you and cut like a bone crusher. But I don't even know if mystic disputes are actually good. Like obviously turn three and on it can be a counter spell, but they aren't playing blue, so it's not really a counter spell most of the time. Whatever, let's try it. I'll keep this one. Thoughtsies will tear this hand apart, but that's gonna tear apart most of our hands anyway. We're just going to play this deck like uh, we haven't played this deck, hoping the top of our library is going to be nice to us. Yep. Once upon a time. Questing beasts to their own. Nice. Thought seize. Fatal push. That is rude. Yep. Well, unfortunately, we didn't draw a turn three play. We were really hoping to. Liliana? Corsair. Holy duck. Wow. Huge fan of all these lands. Gotta be honest. I don't know how we're dealing with the Seed Rhino here. Seed Rhino seems pretty tough for us to beat. Again, he just exists in that space where he's like just big enough that we can't really deal with. Yeah. Attack in the air. Hmm. 
Crap, I don't remember what top card they just drew was. Whoopsie. That's important. You need to pay attention to that when they have a course on the battlefield. Attack number four. I like it. See, drown number two. All right, well. Yep. Yep. Down to eight. Eight all. They're going to play. Looks like they're questing beast next turn. Oof. Hmm. I deal with two questing beasts now, though. That makes this. Infinitely more difficult. Yep. Yep, they attack with both here. Not with all three. Even better. We take six, go to two. Mm-hmm. We're dead to the questing beast anyway. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we're dead to this questing beast because we block it and we take two. Alright, well, we dropped a match there. We'll be back in just a minute for round number five. Alright, I hope to finish this match or finish this league on a high note. Um I think we can do better. Well, I don't know if this is actually going to be better, but we're going to roll with this one. It's going to play the Mystic first because it can actually attack. Ugh, attack, but... Yeah, maybe we should have. I think the only world we don't... We shouldn't have played it first is... Uh... No, I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, Chandra. Alright. I like it. No attacks. Alright, they draw a card. Nice, I like it. <laughs> Are they Feather? How do we beat Feather? Oh, they're fucking Feather. Alright. I guess. I guess, like, this is probably a good start. We want to spend this turn taking off their threat anyway. Um, Defiant Strikes draw a card. Alright. Nothing going on there. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to leave back the goose. The goose is going to be the designated blocker for Chandra right now. Play Feather. Go to game three, it is. Alright, so. Feather. All these are possibilities. Uh, we want, I think, the removal spells first, which means um, 
think Glory Bear is great here. Maybe cut Scavenging Ooze. Maybe cut another Dork. So that's these three in. I don't know what I would cut for these. Maybe like Questing. No, Questing Beast Death Touch can be relevant. And the fact they can attack and defend us is pretty relevant. I like trim once upon a time for another stubborn denial. No, do we really care about countering? Let's bring in an Aether Gust and cut, leave these two out. I'm a little nervous about cutting ourselves down to seven dorks and three once upon a time. But we haven't really had a problem getting lands. So I think we're going to roll with it. I'm glad we didn't keep our first hand after that. Um, Alright, this hand's a little awkward, but I'm going to roll with it. Um... Heart of Kieran is a card. Oh, Man. oh no, a braid. Huh. This could get very bad very quickly if we don't draw land here soon. All right, we gotta draw a land off the top right now. Third goose, not a land. Heart. Well, we technically still have the mana to make Chandra next turn, so somehow if we're able to, we might be able to get out of this. Come on, opponent. You know you want to play something here. You know you absolutely want to. Fuck me sideways. It's not the something you were supposed to want to play. Ugh. It buys us a turn, but we still have to deal with this. Plus, they have a removal spell for this, so we're probably dead. Yeah, they have the Reckless Rage back in hand, so they probably just kill this. Uh, this is bad. Yeah, this is this is really bad. I think our best chance here, if we have drawn a land, we could have possibly traded these off, killed the goose, and bone crushered it. Because we definitely did not, I think we're dead. Play Feather. Creature of Habit. Land. Alright, well maybe... Maybe there's some coming back here. Kill you. Hmm. Sure. Yep, Defiant Strike. We have to keep in mind they still have Reckless Rage. Let's just hope they don't realize that we can crew the heart of Kirin. I mean, we're losing Chandra anyway. Yep. Yep. So we go to three. And then die. Cool. Well, I guess. Technically, we're not dead yet. 
Because we do get to block, but I'm pretty sure we're just dead here, right? Feels like a we're still playing, but we're not really in the game anymore kind of thing. That's fine. Mm, yeah, that does it. All right. Alrighty, so change my mind. We want the disputes or the denials. Um, they are certainly important enough that we need them. I knew this game was going to be won quickly, but I didn't think that quickly. Uh Yeah, that was just one of those hands where, like, we just didn't draw any lands, which causes problems. So we fell way behind. Feather also, to me, seems like one of those decks that if they're not on the play, they have a much harder time winning the game against interactive decks. Yeah, we had a mulligan. Fuck me sideways. Alright, we're going to keep it. <sighs> I think we're putting those two back. Just in case. Alright, well. Stomp's not great, but... It can be a card. Alright, land. Resolves. Land. Damn it, deck. Are you kidding me right now? I guess we should have put Chandra back. So we just can't beat Feather, right? That's the TLDR here. Yeah, I think we just don't beat Feather. Yep. All right, cool. I think we lose. Um, still a good match, or a good league. Not a good match. This match is not obviously not good for us at all. Um, game one wasn't much of a game, and then, you know, we won game, or they won game two with no contest. And then game three, they're winning with no contest, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess we should have tried to kill this during our turn, but uh, maybe they flooded. I don't know. Uh, yep, protection spell. Also, just have to cast two spells on it to protect it, so. And it's not a big deal because they rebound with uh, Feather. Right, yeah. Cool. Alright, well, again, we still went 3 and 1, which is not bad by any means. Uh, or 3 and 2, rather. Um, still tr got, a, got a treasure chest. Um, deck's a lot of fun. Really, really good. Um, yeah, we just. We ran into bad running. Um, unfortunately, even keeping a bunch of mana dorks, and I don't think in those matchups is reasonable. 
I think our best way of winning the game is just interacting with what we have as little as possible, just to what we need to, and then trying to come over the top with uh, better cards. So, like Glory Bringers, Chandras, Questing Beasts, things like this. Cards that are just all around better than what they have. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, the Abzan matchup, I just didn't feel good. That was just a rough one. Um, but the deck's super powerful. Uh, when you get those hands, it'll just turn one dork into turn two Oko, into turn three big threat as well. It's really great. Um, Heart of Kieran's awesome in a deck like this with a planeswalker like Oko that gets high loyalty. Chandra has relatively high loyalty. It's a little awkward with Chandra because we do want an ultimate Chandra. Um, Oko obviously doesn't really have an ultimate. So, anyway, um, yeah, Wicked Wolf's cool. Scavenging Ooze is surprisingly nice. Don't know if it's actually good, but it's nice. Uh, Stubborn Denial. I don't know. We was never really in a situation to, that we had it, so unfortunately we didn't really get to see how good it is, but I imagine it's pretty good in the deck like this. So, All right. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, I'm recording this video before Monday, so I hope that Once Upon a Time doesn't get banned on Monday. Um, if it does, we may just you may just get another banned deck. Although I do think this is a deck that can be played without once upon a time. So there's that. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.